Hi everybody, this is Quabano with OpenMV, and today I just want to show off a new feature in OpenMV we added today um, in OpenMV IDE 2.5.0, uh, which is the dataset editor. So right now um, we're starting to move into a new era for OpenMV where we're going to start supporting um, TensorFlow Lite models. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time trying to get TensorFlow Lite working on the OpenMV cam. And um, we finally have uh, that whole subsystem operational on board the camera. It's not particularly fast or anything on our current model, but uh, the software is in place for us to run TensorFlow Lite models and execute them and get results back. Um, in particular, your OpenMVCam H7 and H7 Plus, along with OpenMVCam M7, can do image classification neural networks. Um, anyway, so uh, obviously, if you want to classify images, though, you need to have some kind of data set to be able to do something to classify said images. So with OpenMV IDE, we've integrated a new feature called the Dataset Editor. So let's just get started on that. So with the Dataset Editor, um, you just open it up and you create a new folder on the desktop. Um, we use the standard file browser that you've seen in Windows. And that folder can be, um, let's say this is the um, random stuff dataset. That's, uh, Name it. Okay, cool. And so we'll just select that folder and yes. Okay, cool. And so once we do that, that random stuff folder will be created. And that is the dataset editor um, folder. So this, um, this folder, random stuff, uh, basically once you do that, OpenMVID will create this uh, dataset capture script. And so you can use this script uh, basically to apply whatever uh, image corrections you want from your OpenMV cam in order to produce that data set. So if you want to do lens correction first, if you want to do rotation correction, if you want to do filtering, uh, thresholding, whatever, you can do that. Um, once you're ready um, and you have a good image quality coming in, um, you can start to take pictures of the different classes of objects you want to uh, recognize. So for example, let's say I want to recognize an SD card, right? Um, I'm going to want to capture pictures of this device for my data set. So we can say a class name, SD card, and that's going to create a folder, the SD card class. Once we do that, we can grab the OpenMV cam, point it at that SD card, and we can start taking pictures of that object. As you can see on the bottom left hand area, the camera, we're automatically taking these pictures and we are saving them to the folder. And so we can just grab a whole bunch of SD card pictures and use this for a training data set. Now, the pictures that I'm taking right here are out of focus, pretty low quality, probably not gonna wanna use those for a data set. Um, however, maybe we can get a bigger object that's easier to look at. So let's say we want to look at this uh, screwdriver. So we can create a new data set folder and let's call this a screwdriver. Okay, great. And so that's going to create the screwdriver class. All right. So once we do that, then we can choose to take pictures of that and capture these pictures for a image CNN. Um, so when you're doing this, uh, this is our first iteration of the dataset editor. It's pretty basic. It just lets you capture images and put those into a class folder. Um, the d nice part, though, is that this makes it extremely easy to use your OpenMV cam to uh, be the thing that captures these source images. And so what you're going to want to do is use your OpenMV cam in a way to, do, to um, capture these images, and then you're probably going to want to throw away images that aren't particularly good. You can actually do this from the IDE. So if you see an image that you think you know, looks pretty bad, like you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there, you can just press delete, and the IDE will get rid of that. Also, you can open up the images and actually view them inside the IDE and see what's going on there and see if that image looks decent or not. Um, cool. Similarly, you can open up uh, the labels.txt. So the IDE will actually generate the labels file for all new, not all new uh, classes you make. Um, anyway, so with this new feature, we allow you to easily create uh, data sets for image classification and organize those images. And using this feature, then, you can start building up a neural network data set for image classification. Um, 
So this feature is in concert actually with uh, a company called Edge Impulse that we're going to be working with. Uh, so we're supplying the OpenMV cam and the ability to collect images and run neural networks on hardware. And Edge Impulse will be providing the training system. So once you have a data set and you're happy with it, um, as for example this, uh, you can go to Tools and you can go to Data Set Editor and you can say Export Data Set. And when you do that, um, you can save that as a zip file. And so OpenMV IDE then will then export that data set into a zip file, and that zip file will then have the names where each class is added to the image number, and all those will be saved in one giant folder. This folder can then be submitted to um, Edge Impulse for deep learning training, and we'll cover that in a bit once the new feature is launched. Cool. So um, using OpenMV IDE and the OpenMV Cam in the future, you're going to be able to start training neural networks on board. Um, just to note, to run neural networks, um, this is doable via our machine learning scripts. Um, so right now we have a few different ways of running neural networks. So we're going to be phasing out support for our previous CMS NN uh, neural network support. That was something that we tried to do on our own, and um, you know uh, we didn't see a huge uh, industry backing for developing um, CMS NN support directly to have uh, a good class loader. But um, Google came in with uh, TensorFlow and we've been able to leverage that. And so TensorFlow is gonna be the new thing that we're moving forward with. Um, anyway, so for example, if you wanna load your own neural network, we have uh, MobileNet examples. And the way this will work is once you've trained a neural network with uh, Edge Impulse, you'll basically be able to get a labels file, which you'll use um, to, uh, which you can basically put in here and then a uh, file name for the TF light file and that file can that TF light file can be stored on your SD card. Um, anyway, so uh, once you've created that new neural network, you're going to be able to uh, put that TF light file on your SD card and uh, you'll also get a labels file you can put on your SD card. And uh, as long as that mobile net uh, fits within the OpenMV cams capabilities, uh, you'll be able to basically run it on board and do image classification. Uh, Cool. So the only other thing to note is uh, for all this data set editor stuff, um, we kind of designed it to use the OpenMV cam so you can actually collect data in situ and get the right pictures that the camera actually sees. Uh, and you will, though, need to apply some data science efforts in uh, actually collecting pictures carefully without too many background objects. So. In the particular data set that I just demonstrated, there was all kinds of stuff in the background that'll cause your um, deep learning performance to be very bad. However, if you are applying your OpenMV Cam in very constrained environments where it's only gonna see a couple of different things in front of it, you're gonna get really good results because you're gonna be able to train the network exactly for what the camera sees. And then it doesn't really need to know about how to generalize the world too well. It just needs to know how to segment the image classes between um, when it sees complex object A and complex object B. Cool. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, OpenMV IDE 2.5.0 is available for download now. Bye-bye.